Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning, Ripple and XR, XRP communities. And welcome to this new video. Um, wanted to do an update here on XRP. I think it's quite obvious why, but yesterday we actually got a pretty nice pump. Um, it's it's not as big as a pump as as we've seen in the markets last week, for example. But we got a we got a nice four and a half percent candle. And what's even more interesting is is what that means for the price. All right, what does that mean for for the the, the development here? Uh, because we did get the breakout we were talking about for a relatively long period of time. And that's the breakout above this major trend we have, or this major trend line, actually, all right? Because you could still argue that the trend is still valid here. Um, but that's what I wanted to talk about, all right? Because if this breakout actually holds, let me quickly uh, reset myself here. Um, if this breakout actually is able to hold, then this is a, a massive bu bullish breakout. And then the next target, the conservative target, is this level at 65 cents again, which is compared to other cryptos, maybe a little bit of a small move, but 10%, you can definitely make some money on that. So that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, fundamentally, I haven't looked this up, but fundamentally, I don't think there has been any new uh, news. I mean, yes, yeah, so, so some people talked about this move as well, um, but obviously the big thing that's still going on and, and the main uh, fundamental catalyst right now for Ripple is the deadline, all right? The 6th of October. The deadline of both uh, Ripple and the SEC um, still being able to appeal the decision made by Judge Torres. Um, so, so, so that's the big date where we're kind of moving towards right now, um, and and the outcome of that is going to is, is going to move XRP a lot. So what we saw yesterday, in my opinion, I'm not certain yet what this means. Um, it could either be a will looking for short-term profits. That is almost what it looks like right now. It could also be a will or a group of traders, whatever, positioning themselves for a potential outcome the 6th of October. All right, because, and this is also the main thing I'm thinking right now, I start to believe it's most likely the SEC will not appeal. Now, it's obviously, I mean, I'm, 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 not, an, I'm, not, I'm not an expert in, in, in law or anything, so they could still appeal, um, but it seems like the market, especially also with the bullish momentum we had the 12th of September, it seems like the market and the bullish momentum yesterday, even though it's still a little bit dubious, um, it seems like, like, like there is some sort of a start of an uptrend. So especially if we're able to hold this breakout here, which the breakout here, I'm not convinced about. Um, breakouts in the weekend are usually not something I'm, I'm too happy about. And now you can see that the volume is, is getting to relatively ni nice levels. Yesterday, the volume was around uh, 680 million. Right now, it's around 1.1 billion, right? So, so if this breakout holds until tomorrow, I will still probably buy XRP. Um, but usually breakouts in the weekend are, are not that trustable, right? They're, they're not that trustworthy um, because of the volume and because of what we've seen with XRP before, because the last time we broke out right here, the 13th of July, uh, we also broke out on a Saturday and then we actually were able to hold it. Um, so XRP is pretty, you know, has ha has seen some breakouts in the weekend before and we have been able to hold it. And this was also with, with volume. Um, so that's in combination with the, fu with the fundamentals makes me bullish on XRP, all right? I think it's most likely we will at least go into that level at 65 cents. And obviously the market helps as well, all right? So the market is also still very bullish right here. And even with a pullback, I expect that bullish momentum to continue. So this seems most likely. Um, now, when we're talking about the short term, so the next 24 hours, should you buy XRP, yes or no? Like I said, for now, I'm not buying it. If we're able to hold this breakout above the trend line and just in general above this this key level we have around 59 cents if we're able to hold that into tomorrow i will start to buy a small position it depends a little bit on when on, on where bitcoin is if bitcoin is at 61,000, for example i will most likely buy a position if bitcoin is trading a bit higher then i might wait for some sort of a pullback from bitcoin to pull back xrp a little bit as well and then i'll enter um but I have a bullish expectation on XRP for now ahead of the um, ahead of the deadline. And I think the technicals are confirming that bias right now. Uh, but those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.